Hey yo, what's going on? It's Pug Plays. We're back at it again with, uh, you know, this game. <laughs> Let's see. I died. We found a. We found my brother. No, we. I was going on a journey in the zombie land. I found my brother, and then me and him went into an, a like a shopping mart or something, and I blew up. And then we found a person named Gristle. And now it's just. And then we found my friend Drew after my my brother my brother found Drew, and then. Gristle blew up in a car? I think? Yeah. Yeah, it's been like an hour since I played. I already forgot. The group stumbles across someone's camp behind an empty town. There's a woman dressed in medieval clothing like she's at a renaissance fair. She's sparring the air with a fencing coil. She stops slashing her sword eventually, but never puts her rapier down when talking. She appears to be like a pretty normal person despite appearances. Shun points her sword to the sky and belts. Out. No one can stop my blade! Ho ho ho! It's briefly unsettling after she was talking so normally. She then slashes the air in a grand fashion while laughing for about four straight minutes. Onward to Canada! This is really good. We got my brother, my best friend, and some swordsman. This is literally just like if I went to a convention. Plan out tomorrow. Major man plans on the next day. It's a good time. His morale increases and his weight is revealed. He's super smart. We don't have enough medical supplies to heal him or Drew. Bandits are guarding the retracted bridge over river. Shun wants to jump it. Take a detour instead. The group decides to take a detour. This is usually a bad idea. They get lost for a full day until they finally finding an alternate route. Minus 56 cats. Major man rolls up his sleeves and starts taking to their wounds. He tries to help, but it lacks some medical supplies. We lost a lot of fuel. While driving on the death road? Uh drive around more. Last time we went to a red thing on the inside. Crap. Okay, file the house. I need to find some gas. The group drives up to the house. Oh, they're mega cheesed. What's this lady having? She's got a rape here. As a moron's guide to surgery, Drew's medical is increased. It's still really bad. Uh, Elon, uh, Mez increased, Shun's increased, and it's not good. None of ours are that good. Oh hey. Oh, my brother healed up Drew. That's so sweet. Can't put them. We have no guys. We 
can visit one more place, we need to find gas. The car is completely run out of gas and we've abandoned it. Oh, everybody lost morale because the swordsman is an idiot. A bakery van. Okay. Oh, we couldn't get it started, but we found food. Uh, the car looks like it will run. Alright. This car looks like it's really in good condition, but where are the keys? too. This is a sports car. Oh, American Guns, Turkey and Good to Go, Giant Farts Monthly, Turkey and Good to Go. Before the... Okay. Major Mez Composure Increases. Major Mez mechani Mechanical Increases. That's nice. I have no clue what the composure is, but I think that means he doesn't go crazy if something dies. Visit the trader camp. That man is carrying several shotguns, most of them flashed on his back. I don't need a shotgun. Oh, hey, get out of our house. Thanks for the bullets, you scrub. It's locked tight with a slot in the side. There are weapon names and prices scrawled near the hole. Uzi for 15 food. I want a grenade. Bought a grenade. That was a smart investment. I only carry the best stuff. Yeah, let's leave it up. Since I'm not here, I don't. There's no stealing option. There we are. Let's go now. That's cool. We got a grenade. Oh, this car used 12 gas instead of 10. Siege alert, that's cool. Get rid of my stub nose and add the freaking grenade. Oh, we can also loot houses. Oh, that was so worth it. I think it's like zombies we can that we feel. Yeah, my brother. I don't remember him making his 
character for being abusive in this one, sometimes. And, uh, I mean, this guy kind of looks like a little bit Okay, cool. 70 zombies destroyed. Do we get anything for surviving the siege? Besides losing a bunch of gas? The group feels inspired. Yes. Morale and a random skill gain? Yes. Every day is a great teacher. Shun's strength increases. Major's medical increases. Drew's mechanical increases. And we got a zombo point. We can only have 10 zombo points, but I have to use the zombo points and like it unlocks new skills that you can use to customize characters even further. There's a moose outside camp. It looks injured. Let's be nice to the moose. He patches up a little. The moose is too confused by the gesture of kindness to maul him. <laughs> Yay! Who cares if we lost some of our stuff? At least we got happy. Major Mez loyalty is revealed. I don't know what a little loyalty does. Does that mean like they'll try and ditch you? Oh, car bandit. Yay! Drew got hurt! Yay! At least we got lots of it. Alright. Oh, a group of wrecked cars. Investigate the cars. Oh, Drew's using the snub nose, I forgot. Alright. There's some gas. You know, get himself killed. I just got my best friend killed. Yeah, let's do the safe house. So... Equip the pistol. The pistol has longer range, but it does less damage. So it's literally... Swordsman. It's him and Saber. Whatever her name is in that anime. They're all too slow for me. Healing supplies. 
Saber, don't die. Man, if only I was able if only I was still alive to see how far we made it. Sadly I'm an idiot, so I died trying to rob a gun. Finds another traveler by the roadside named Gerald. He insists on joining the group immediately. The group isn't even given a choice. Gerald joins the party. Onward to Canada. Okay, hi, Gerald. You weird Doctor Who fan. Po Shun. Pose off. Oh. Guess who's out of food? The group goes against their best judgment. Run out now! Crap. Everything went to crap. <laughs> Ever since Gerald showed up, a piece of dummy. Loot quickly and run. We got some ammo. Shun's almost dead. Let's hope the card is ready to- Shun, shut your mouth. You're gonna jinx us. Medical clinic. We need meds. Everyone is hurt. There we go, we got some medical supplies. I 
I just realized I never gave Gerald any good weapons. I guess that's a piece of whatever. Cool, we got some help. Oh no, he's got a baseball bat. That's better, I guess. ourselves now, which means I can make a third episode of this. Because I'm playing until I die. Yo, let's go! Oh, I just shot around. Everybody get in! Woo! Oh my gosh, we did it! Okay. And look at that. Can any human truly be too swole? Too swole for... Us. I knew it was going to happen. <laughs> Gerald didn't notice any of this, but everybody else feels sad. Oh, because Gerald's an idiot. He didn't understand that he was yelling at him. Cool, we found a car and some gas. The group finds a candy bar on the side of the road. It's a fun size to share with everyone somehow. Shun's loyalty is revealed. Shun is sad because she doesn't like sharing. Loyal. Gerald's really loyal. He's cool. So, Matt and Gerald are happy now. That's nice. Yay, yes. Alright, we're going to do one more pop-up window. Visit the trader camp. We have no food left. Hello. Two cans for every 25 gas. Um, no. How about you? Do you sell... Alright. I'll sell the... Weapon for food. 
unless I can find a person that sells me. This man is selling anime and anime accessories. Buy no anime. Flashlight? I don't need a flashlight. Use charm. He gets free fitness training, that's nice. We need to find food though. Yeah, our ammo. But we're out of food. And that's bad. Alright, well thank you so much for watching this episode of Death Road to Canada. If you like the series so far, leave a like. I'm just going to keep on playing until I either make it to Canada or die trying, so thanks for watching, and this is the end of the video. I'll see you later.